Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I plan to ask ChatGPT to make a web app for us where we can automate our tweets. Basically, we can create AI generated tweets using Streamlit and OpenAI. The web app where uh, we leverage the power of OpenAI's API keys and then we create a tweet and then we just go over our Twitter and we, we make that tweet with all the hashtags and every detail out there. So simple automated task, ChatGPT is pretty powerful when we ask it in the prompt with proper keywords and we will see how easily it gives us stacks of codes which we just need to copy and paste or maybe some uh, human intervention in between where we just tweak the code a bit but it performed pretty well and within few minutes we can build this whole app together. Other uh, videos in my channel which has also uh, explained about the machine learning apps which is built by ChatGPT or Expert Data Analysis app built by ChatGPT. So this, all these things were built by ChatGPT and I just copied and pasted, demonstrated in front of you all, also made few tweaks but it was very well made apps using Streamlit and we did it very successfully. So let's try today to make this AI generated tweet app and let's see how it goes. Uh, in the prompt, I will write it this way, write a simple uh, streamlit. Okay, and we'll ask uh, the tweet prompt. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT replies to this. So people who are new in my channel, for them, I'm Avro and I make Streamlit web app videos. Also, I have a lot of contents on OpenAI in my YouTube channel. So if you have not been in my channel before, make sure to watch them. I have recently built a bot using uh, Streamlit and OpenAI. Check them out and let me know what you guys think about it. Meanwhile, ChatGPT is doing an amazing job, so let's see how it performs. It's given a lot of code, right? Oh, this is pretty good. It looks pretty nice. So I've already opened my editor. I gave a name untitled and we just create a Python file. So how we write it? So we write app.py and here we paste it. Okay, so we have pasted all the dependencies, all the functions which ChatGPT gave us. So if you see, we have the modules which uh, ChatGPT suggested, Streamlit and OpenAI. Uh, you must also remember that we need to install these modules, okay? In my previous videos, if you go back or if you go back to my Medium uh, post out here, so this is what, this was one of the Medium posts where we built our own uh, chatbot, which I was mentioning with OpenAI GPT-3 and Streamlit. Here you will see how to install it and all this thing is given in details. But I just quickly say it's very easy to install it. Peep install Streamlit or peep install OpenAI, okay? It's as easy as that. We add our API key. So how we can do that in order to fetch your open AI's API key, you go here, API, and there you log in. So I'll quickly do those stuff here. So this is the, once you log in, this is the welcome to open AI. This is the page where you need to go. And from here, if you go here, uh, let's say view API keys. Here I'll just build a new one. Okay. So I'll just press create new secret key. As soon as you generate it to copy it, we press okay. So right now, I'm, you can just see my API key. I don't care. I'll just delete it soon. So I'm just pasting it here. So I'll just check if it's working or not. And I'll just put a button. And here we will run Streamlit in our local host. Streamlit run app.py. So we get an error. Technically, this one, we need to bug it as import open. Yeah, you can check the previous tutorial we use. A more or less similar strategy where I don't use chat GPT but it's uh, very well known how to use this and I think for this open AI how we need to do is open AI dot API key right so this is the line where we use open AI key you can also use streamlit secrets it was explained in the previous tutorial you can check it out so that you don't reveal your secrets that's very important always rerun cool so we now technically can generate, but few things which uh, may not work, uh, which uh, I think we need to change this thing. So the prompt which it is giving is it asking for the text input is inside it. Okay, let me put that outside content here instead. Let's say content. Uh, so this should be text input. That's why we are not seeing any box until now. We see a text input box here. Okay. 
So that's what something was missing. So that's what we need to debug. ChatGPT was not exactly correct how we wanted it. Uh, the next thing which we want is also instead of this part of the line, maybe we just uh, give an argument here. Let's say uh, prompt. And uh, we will add this argument here, okay? We will just come in this line and so we'll just directly pass the prompt from the argument, okay? So in that way, we'll first create an, a prompt outside the loop and then we pass it. This mood. Concurrent to them, concurrent both of them together. So it's basically the if prompt or the final prompt to be in the right whatever we type we can also put it concurrent there so let's say we can see our prompt now so for that we just need to write if if prompt or we can just use st dot write or st dot text prompt okay so let's say we want uh, into the content of tweet you want to generate which will be like climate change so I'm just now showing how the prompt will be, okay? And the type of the tweet, which will be like cautious. Okay, and now if I press both of them, so it will be write a tweet cautious sense about climate change. Actually put uh, this thing right up. Cautious tweet or whatever mood it is. About the content. Yeah, this will be prettier. Right, very right, cautious tweet about them. Perfect. So now we haven't fed it still inside the AI. So that we will do when we click the generate. We just generate the tweet for this. We need to pass this to the if prompt. Chat GPT helped us most of the part, starting from writing the code. Uh, it has used the typical uh, text Da Vinci O2 model. You can also use text Da Vinci O3 model. And it has also used tokens. Speaking of tokens, uh, we can we need to precisely mention that it's not more than 120 characters within 120 characters technically you can also again use another text input where you can play with the number of characters that also is possible but i explicitly write 120 characters hardly like you know 28 lines of code and it's it's just because we want it to be this way and let's see in this case you can just use a checkbox also so it automatically takes it you know the stream it runs every time let's use checkbox for time being and we see how it looks so we go to our app now here is we need a content of the tweet as a climate change with the type of the tweet will be very cautious about it and we generate the tweet let's see what tweet it generates so we can ignore the reality of climate change. We must work together to find solutions that reduce greenhouse gas emissions. It is pretty cool. This is our tweet, which it generated pretty well. And maybe write with hashtags. That's something which we also want, right? Some hashtags that's to increase our uh, traffic more or increase our audience. This Twitter is more blue in color. I'll just use instead of uh, success, which is green in color, I'll use the blue in color so that you know it gives us the vibe of twitter so you see act on climate that, that's the exact thing it got added onto it this is pretty cool i mean we can no longer ignore climate change it's time to take action and make real changes to save our life so i hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video i mean it was very straightforward where we used all these lines of code which was generated by chat gpt let me also ask chat gpt to explain these lines of code especially in this part so that it's clear what it is trying to do. So this div generate prompt defines a function which is an argument called generate tweet as we all know. So then the completions open a complete the query. This is using the, the particular create method to generate the completion of the sentence. Okay, this is uh, very useful and where we're using the engine the prompt all these arguments so engine we're using is o2 to open ai i'll just quickly go there uh, if i go to let's say documentation here you can find this text completion uh, here you will see the different models let me go yeah this is the model okay here if you uh, click on gpt3 you will see the text da vinci is the latest model we could have used that also this is the gpt3 models which is uh, very much useful for text completion or text summarization. This DaVinci works very well. Other models are pretty good as well. So I have 
uh, described this in one of this previous app which I built using OpenAI, that summarizer app, which is again, you can find in my Medium blog post or here. Yeah, so summarizing scientific articles, if you come here, here we are using the same thing. This video out there, it's pretty simple, straightforward. So let's go back here now. So the message, the line retrieves the text of the first generated completion object and assigns to the variable message. Again, it strips the line so that you know it gives a very nice uh, output of it. The line returns the text of the generated tweet, leaving the trailing by white spaces are removed. That's the whole purpose. So this function takes a prompt as it did for our purpose as an input and generates a tweet based on that prompt and returns it. So we already created this app, this very simple app, which helps us to generate tweets all using ChatGPT. It gives us the stream lead codes uh, where you can just enter your content type, your mood, and it will create us the tweet, which we can just copy and paste in our Twitter account and make a tweet. It's very simple as you can see. And also ChatGPT is very powerful when you, when you want to explain the code, you just copy and paste and ask uh, ChatGPT to explain the code. It will do it very easily. You can comment your codes. This is something which is very useful as long as we have this power of ChatGPT with us. One more thing, you can extend this app. How you can do that? You can just go to something called Tweepy, uh, which is one of this uh, Python module where we, you can actually use. You can use the uh, Python's uh, API to directly send a tweet from your app. You need to have an extension which will just you know, you select it, it goes directly to your Twitter. That's something which you can do. But I think for that, you need to have some, if I'm not wrong, some access tokens and all these things you have to generate. That's also pretty easy. Uh, I can make a YouTube tutorial on that also, but they're already available information. Do that, extend it, make this whole pipeline uh, very automated. You generate tweets using this AI, using OpenAI, and then just click it on, have a text box where you edit this and send it directly to uh, your Twitter and your tweet will be out there with all the hashtags. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, this is a very simple video using ChatGPT's power. So if you guys like this video, watch other videos of ChatGPT OpenAI in my own channel also with Streamlit or a couple of more videos out there. And let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to my channel. This will be very helpful for me to grow my channel and make more content for all of you. And that's it. Share this video. Hit the like button and I will see you the next time. Cheers.